Welcome, everybody. Thanks for joining us for NBA Action on 2K Sports. Kevin Harlan here along with analysts Greg Anthony and Steve Smith. And we'll be hearing from D.A. along the sideline all game long. Here we are, two games left before the start of the playoffs. Let's take a look at the possible field. You take a look at the Pelicans. They're 10th in the conference, still looking to claim a spot for the playoffs. And, of course, there's the Kings. They're tied right now. And I think for New Orleans, they've been strong at times this season, but they still have some hope. I think they're a playoff caliber team. I just don't think they're a championship caliber team. This has been the thought all along. They have enough to compete night in and night out, but they're not taking four out of seven from a top team in this league. No way. And the starting lineup for the Pelicans, we've got Brandon Ingram. Jose Alvarado is out there with Daniels. Then there's Jonas Valanciunas. And for Sacramento, Barnes is in the front court along with Murray. Backcourt pair is Fox and Monk. And it's Sabonis in at the center filling out the middle. We'll have to keep our eyes on the center matchup, Greg, in this one. These two bigs bring so much to their respective teams. Yeah, and, and remember when people thought centers were going extinct? Look around the league. There, there's so much talent at that position, including the two guys we get to watch here tonight. One side of a great playmaker hitting his man in stride. Pass to Alvarado. Alan Judas with a screen on Fox. Here's Alvarado. Guarded by Fox, two on the clock. Valanciunas with the clock winding down and the dunk by Valanciunas. Gotta love the big man Valanciunas fighting for that extra chance and he was rewarded for his effort. Outside, Fox. And Sabonis the bucket on the assist by Fox. Sabonis has got his second bucket of the night. A little over a minute gone here in the first quarter. Ingram finds Alvarado. Ingram outside. Let's the three fly. Rebound by Murray. Now, here's Monk. He's covered by Daniels. Fox feeling it out a bit. Sabonis sets the pick for Fox. Shoots over Alvarado. Pelicans pull it in. They're moving on after the tough loss they took at the hands of the Blazers. And defensively in that one, they needed to come up with big stops to quiet that crowd. And that's obviously easier said than done. Yes, yeah, the other team is feeding off that enthusiasm. You have to try and match that energy. For the three, good on the triple. Supremely confident from range. And with good reason, Murphy is consistent. Steve, we talked about this. A great job by the Pelicans front office in surrounding Zion Williamson with talent. Yes, Kevin. When he's healthy, they're one of the best teams in the league. But to go the distance, he has to be available. Now here's Ingram following the missed shot by De'Aaron Fox. Barnes passes to Fox. Just over two and a half minutes played here so far in the first quarter. To the paint, here's Monk. Good, and a nice assist from Fox. Fox has got three assists in the game. Here's Alvarado, guarded by Fox. The jump hook, Valanciunas, good. And he's pretty relentless inside. Valanciunas gets after it down low. It might not always look pretty, but he makes the most of his chances in the paint. And looks like the illegal kick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. And not the most common call you'll see in the NBA, but hard to argue that pick wasn't illegal. It's often a tough call that can go either way, but I agree with you on that one. Just under three and a half minutes gone here in the first quarter. I got I got There's the dish to Ingram. 
floats one. A shot goes in. First of the night. He's one for three to start the game. This is just a case of Brandon Ingram getting stronger and more able to play through contact. Sabonis catched a month. The pass to Barnes. And here is Fox. Shoots over Alvarado. Rebounded by Valanciunas. And I was sure that was money on that one, but everyone has afforded an easy miss or two. Yes, let's look on the bright side. You got a great look. It's a play that you might want to go back to again. And a nice job here early of establishing an inside presence. Here's Fox. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. With so many great point guards in this league, Sometimes a guy like De'Aaron Fox can be overlooked, but when he's on, no one can stay in front of that man. And he makes the first. And Steve, we're not seeing as many back-to-back -back games as we used to. That's been a point of emphasis in the scheduling in recent years. It takes time to bounce back after every game and credit the NBA for cutting down on these back-to-backs. Fewer of them means healthier players and fresher legs. Pelicans leading by three. And here is Ingram. He seems to always be finding ways to score, averaging around 23 and a half points a game. You see how Ingram's polished his game, looking smooth from the mid-range. Now, here's Fox. And he'll shoot free throws here. Clearly fouled on that shot that time. The whistle blowing. And there's the foul against New Orleans. And a chance for just a second now to check out the scoring breakdown for the Pelicans. Right now, it's their passing game. And it's been on point doing a great job of moving it around and getting the ball to their shooters. And something else that I liked is how they attack the paint, finding ways to get inside and capitalize time and time again. And the first one at the line is good. Hits them both. Here's Alvarado. Taking a look at his stats, he's averaging around nine and a half points a game. He dishes it to Ingram. Good D by Barnes. The Kings trail by three. Pass to Monk. Back to Fox. And he uses the glass on the lane. Fox has got six points. And, and Fox starting to show you his abilities inside. It has quick instincts, which I think helps him when he's down low. Here's Alvarado. Valanciunas with the ball. Ingram outside. Valanciunas with a screen on Barnes. Lock it four. And the dunk by Valanciunas. Unselfish, good decision maker. Brandon makes his teammates better. And here's Fox. He'll bring it up for Sacramento. It's a three-point game. Looking at the veteran Jonas Valanciunas, Steve, he remains a nightly double-double threat. He's someone that likes to flex his muscle on both ends, Kevin. A big man who uses the size to his advantage and is reliable at cashing in from inside. Inside and stolen by Murray. Sabonis and slam dunk by Sabonis. And loving the aggression from Sabonis going right up for the dunk there. Nice. Here's Alvarado. Guarded by Fox. Pass to Daniels. Valanciunas inside. Sabonis is there. Valanciunas dishes to Daniels. Some nice passing here by New Orleans. And it's good. Two points. Eight points for Valanciunas. Uh-oh. Starting out in rhythm. That's four out of five he's hit. And we're only in quarter number one. 
Sabonis feeling it out a bit. Murray, the pass to Sabonis. Barnes, left side. The wide open look here for Fox. Good, and it's Barnes picking up the assist. Fox has got the game tied up here for the King. Timeout is called first of the game for the Pelicans. Some changes here for the Kings. Edwards, he's checked in for Keegan Murray. Kevin Herter comes in for Harrison Barnes. And it's Mitchell in for Monk. And then for New Orleans, Nancy's checked in for Ingram. Marshall comes in for Dyson Daniels. And Lewis subbed in for Jose Alvarado. The Pelicans have gone 8 of 12 on field goal attempts so far. Pass to Marshall. Back to Lewis. Nance against Edwards. Out to the right wing. 18 feet out. Sacramento grabs the miss. Now, here's Fox. He's got nine. Let's a floater go. Good, and it's Mitchell picking up the assist. Defensively, they've had no answer for him this period, and he continues to stay aggressive. On the wing, Nance. A three, and DeMontis Sabonis pulls it down. The Kings leading. Things really clicking for him at the offensive end. They're making good decisions, not wasting these opportunities. And Fox gets it to go. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. And Marshall kicks to Lewis. Shot to stop the run. Buries the long-range jumper. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Now, here's Fox. 13 points in the game. Six to shoot. Makes it off the glass. Fox has got 15. His shot making has been superb this quarter. He's taken over this game. Lewis kicks to Nance. Back to Lewis. 105 left to play here in the first. Now here's Marshall. Covered by Mitchell. Shoots. Marshall gets the bucket. Both teams racking up the points to start this game. And you wonder how long they can keep it going. At some point, you expect the defense will adjust. Sabonis with the bucket. Those defenders just look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're getting pushed around on that low block. There's 39 seconds left to play in the first. And there's the pass to Valanciunas. There's the three. And again, New Orleans with the triple. Murphy wants to keep accepting a big row in this offense. 
gotta appreciate his confidence. Marshall with the steal. Oh, and here we go with Marshall. Nobody back. And here we go. And he hits it and gets hacked on the play. A three-point possibility if he can convert the free throw. And that's up-tempo basketball at its best. So much easier to operate in the open court when a steal triggers the break. And he's got his first chance at the line here. And some changes here for the Kings. McGee comes in for Demonis Sabonis. And Chris Duarte is subbed in for Edwards. New Orleans also making some changes. Zeller comes in for Jonas Valanciunas. And it's Ingram in for Trey Murphy. The Kings trail by three. Outside, Fox. It's rebounded by New Orleans. Now Marshall. Pass to Ingram. There's the triple. And no good. It's been all about Jonas Valanciunas for New Orleans. Between his points and his rebounds, he was a star for him in that quarter. Right back after this break. Some good action already in this one, but a fairly even matchup after the first quarter of play. Guys, what stands out to you from the Pelicans in this one? Showing a lot of confidence in their rotation. They went right to that bench when they needed points. This is where you credit the guys in the front office for going out and getting you the pieces you need. Pelicans leading by three. We've got De'Aaron Fox. Also Mitchell out there. Kevin Herter is out there with JaVale McGee. And it's Duarte in at the four. That's the five to begin the second quarter for the Kings. Marshall can't hit. And for the Kings, their shooting has been brilliant in this game. 67% from the floor. Smitty, when you look at a guy like Najee Marshall, he's certainly a high-motor kind of player. Always moving around the floor, Kevin. He's looking for an opening or to set a screen or to help on defense. Marshall isn't one to stand around. Beautiful ball movement. Draw and kick. The defense can't catch up. Bounce pass Ingram. Zeller finds Ingram. With the fadeaway. It's rebounded by Herter. You expect him to make that, especially from that distance. RJ passes to Herter. Five to shoot. This is to McGee. Some nice ball movement here by the Kings. And it's McGee with the jam. Nice look from Kevin. Intelligent and unselfish. The Pelicans trail. Just about a minute and a half has gone by here in the second. This is it to Zeller. Zeller. It's hauled in by the Kings. And here is Fox. 15 points in the game for Lewis. Zeller grabs the board. Fox with the steal. Over Lewis. And again, it's Sacramento converting. Fox just brimming with confidence right now. I like how he uses that mid-range game. And he knows right now he's got that green one. Count that one in the Sacramento lead has been cut down to just two points with the bucket from Lewis. Kings have gone three of four from the four here in the second quarter. Fox kicks to Herter. McGee sets the pick for Herter. And another three for Sacramento. Put the ball in Herter's hands, 
Let him make a decision. He can pass and he can score. Lewis dishes to Zeller. In the corner, Nance with it. Jacks up a three. It's JaVale McGee with the rebound. McGee's got four rebounds in this game. Gets it to fall. The bucket from Herder. And now a seven-point Sacramento lead. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Marshall passes to Nance. That ball. Great assist by Marshall. Nance has got six. And looking confident. When Nance can hit the jump shot, this offense becomes much more dynamic. Down low, here's McGee. And it's McGee with the jam. Looking to make plays for others. We've seen this from him all night. There has been an emphasis on ball movement. And he's been a major catalyst. Now here's Ingram. His last outing, we saw him pour in 22. Zeller against McGee. Just five on the clock. For three, Ingram. Sacramento grabs the miss. McGee's got his fifth rebound in this one. I'd love to see them impose themselves a little more on the backboard. That's a great way to find confidence. Always a surefire way to get back in the game. Now, here's Fox. Last game, 26 points. Pass Duarte. It's up a three. Kicks it out to Mitchell. Off target from outside. There was a mix-up defensively. Left him all alone. He just couldn't hit it. Lewis outside. Zeller setting the pick for Lewis to the middle. Wants to get it to Zeller and does. Outside for Lewis. And it's good with time running down on the shot clock. Lewis has got four points in the quarter. Great timing. That can be the difference between an assist and a turnover. And now we've got some time to check in from the sidelines. They got for us, D.A. Thank you, guys. Zion Williamson is a force to be reckoned with, but Coach Willie Green said he's just scratching the surface. He's going to continue to get better. Over and over again, he's making the right play. Kevin? All right, D.A., thanks. Now, here's Fox. Brandon Ingram missing his last shot. Fluid athlete, good hop. If Herder can continue to do that, watch out. Timeout called here. The Pelicans decide to talk it over. Substitution here for Sacramento. Sabonis, he's checked in for JaVale McGee. Murray comes in for Duarte. Barnes, he's checked in for Kevin Herter. And it's Malik Monk in for Davion Mitchell. A big group substitution here for New Orleans. Jonas Valanciunas, he's checked in for Cody Zeller. Trey Murphy comes in for Larry Nance. Tyson Daniels checked in for Brandon Ingram. And it's Jose Alvarado in for Lewis. Pelicans trail by six. Here's Marshall. Alan Judas with a screen on Barnes. And here's Marshall from the arc. Good on the three-point shot. Marshall's got five. Coaches say, GA, the league has a problem when it's punishing the retaliators and not the instigators. 
Do they have a point? Kevin, I think so. But for any scuffle, it's worth asking who started it. And, and that's what we do in life normally, right? Here's Monk. And the Pelicans pick up three with their last shot. And the officials will call the illegal shoot right there. Uh, beyond the leaning, you could see his feet more set on that screen. Easy call. So difficult to stay planted, especially with all the motion around you. Annoying turnover. And Marshall kicks to Valanciunas. The pass to Daniels. Teardrop shot. And DeMontis Sabonis pulls it down. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. Monk with the ball. Steady offensive output from him, averaging more than 16 points a game. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Now, here's Marshall. It's a five-point game. Valanciunas, and he comes up with the deuce. And that's now 10 points for Valanciunas. Almost every move Valanciunas makes, there's going to be some contact. He just plays through it. Screen by Sabonis. Good. Fox has got 19 points. And boy, he's really in a groove. Dominant performance last game. Same thing this time out. Here's the thing. He's a guy who will go on hot streaks for you over a number of games. Now, here's Alan Junis. 25 points last game. Hits it from three-point range. Alvarado's got his second bucket of the game to go. And the D has gotten a little bit laxed here defending the triple. Screen by Sabonis. Here's Fox. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. That's the 10th straight point they've given up in the paint. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for the Kings. For me, they made a point to attack inside early in the game, and it's paid off for them. A lot of solid looks in the paint. And one more thing they've done well tonight. They've attacked the rim viciously and have gotten a lot of points by just going at the defender. Pelicans trailed by five. Valanciunas, good. Valanciunas has got four points this quarter. Well, you know that Valanciunas has the potential to go off, and he's doing it here. So the Kings call timeout. They're first. They come into this one following a loss to the Thunder. Uh, in the NBA, you've got to keep pace. It's a fast track out there. And I thought their lack of hustle defensively was the story of the game. You know, sometimes great skill can overcome a lack of intensity, but it's very rare. switch here. Mitchell's checked in. Well, a chance to check out some stats for Trey Murphy. And his three-point shooting has gotten a lot better over his last 10 games. He looks so much more comfortable from beyond. There's no doubt he's got the green light to let it fly whenever the shot's there for him. the inbound and then Monk with the dunk and when your wing like Murray is moving the ball effectively it really helps your offense to flow 
Pass to Dallin Tunis. Shakes off the strong D and gets the bucket for two. Alan Junis has got six in the quarter. Kings leading now by three. Passes it to Monk. Back to Mitchell. And then Mitchell with the dunk. And you got to appreciate just the presence of mind there. Monk demonstrating solid court awareness by finding the open man. Here's Alvarado. Five points in the game. Kicks to Marshall. Alan Junis against Sabonis. Alan Junis draws the double. Shoots the three. And again, New Orleans with the triple. Look at the big man, Alan Junis, showing off the playmaking skills. And it's Mitchell with the ball for the Sacramento Kings. Next matchup, they'll be home against the Suns. And that will be the middle game of this three-game homestand. Alvarado with the steal. Orleans moving it around. Pass to Valanciunas. That misses. Had a chance to tie it there. He is so good attacking the rim. It's rare to see him denied like that. To the inside. Here's a bonus. And the Kings check on two more. Throughout the evening, he's gotten to his spots. And the defense has not adjusted. Alan Junis, that's a screen for Marshall. Now the pass to Alan Junis. Three-pointer, Daniels, and another three for New Orleans. Alan Junis is a very solid passer at his position. Knows how to find an open man. Now, here's Mitchell. He's defended by Alvarado. Now here's Barnes. He has yet to score. It's rebounded by New Orleans. Alan Junis has got five rebounds tonight. Now Alvarado. Fires the three. And the last second attempt does not go in for him. And some good action to the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Kings lead by one. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, DeMontis. This team was efficient in the first half. What's working offensively? Everyone knew today was going to be a game. We all came out focused and we're playing team basketball. We're sharing the ball, and that's working for us. And you got a lot of weapons there, DeMontis. Thanks for your time. Back to you guys. All right, thank you, David. And folks, don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of quarter number three. Hello everybody, 
We all like close games, and tonight's matchup with the New Orleans Pelicans does not disappoint. Hard to win if you allow your opponent to shoot over 60%. They need to play tighter D. Stay attached to the shooters, contest shots, get physical, knock somebody down, man. Yeah, let's see if they can make those adjustments in the second half. And now, as the regular season marches on, here's how things look in the West as we near the final stretch. You know, for the Pelicans, they played okay, but unfortunately, that's not getting you into the playoffs. They were hoping to take the next step this year. That led to a lot of frustration for everybody. Their fans are hangry. They wanted to eat. That is more than enough of us. Let's send you back to the game. Kevin Harlan and crew with the second half. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. It's been one outstanding game from De'Aaron Fox. Yeah, it's been a great performance from him. Really staying focused on quality shots. And many of those quality shots have been jumpers. A very high percentage of those in the first half. And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. The Pelicans trail. So for New Orleans right now, we've got Daniels. Jonas Valanciunas is out there with Trey Murphy. Then it's Jose Alvarado. And it's Ingram in at the small forward position. Here's Alvarado. Bangs home the trifecta. Alvarado's got the first basket of the second half. That one for the Pelicans. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. The Pelicans have a lot of weapons offensively, but there seem to be enough touches to go around. Coach Willie Green said there's a trust factor. All those guys, they go out and trust each other. It might be one guy's night in this game, and it might be someone else in the next game. They always just want to make the right play. Kevin? Yep. Thanks, DA. Good stuff. He misses the free throw. And with Sabonis, as his minutes have increased, so has his production. The, the future is bright for this young man. And he sinks the second. New Orleans in the lead. Here's Alvarado. Ingram outside. Looking to get back on track here. Sacramento grabs the miss. Outside, Fox. Sabonis finds Fox. Back to Sabonis. And slam dunk by Sabonis. And guys, we see more of this every year. Sabonis looking for his own offense. And so here is New Orleans. They trail by one. They can look forward to San Francisco after this game and a matchup against Golden State. And that will conclude a four-game road trip. It's Ingram on the wing. Covered by Barnes. Shot clock at six. And it's Ingram missing. Sacramento's gone three of five from beyond the arc so far tonight. Outside, Fox. He kicks it to Murray. Sacramento moving it around. Outside, Fox. That falls. Nice feed that time from Sabonis. Now it's a four-point Kings lead. And Fox must continue to work on that shot. When he's knocking it down from there, boy, the D is in trouble. Now here's Ingram, launches a three. Ingram can't get that one to fall. Still trying to shoot his way out of this funk. But if it doesn't come within the flow of the offense, the whole team suffers. And the shot goes down. Three straight to begin this half. Couldn't have drawn it up any better. Timeout called here. The Pelicans decide to talk it over.
And a look here at the scoring trend over the last several months for Malik Monk. Look, sometimes you go up, sometimes down, and, and, and the trend has been on the downward side in terms of his average points per game. And a variety of factors can be the culprit. And a lot of times you focus on the efficiency more than just pure point output. Pelicans trail by six. Ingram outside. Here is Daniels. Monk defending. Five on the clock. A floater. And that one drops for him. Daniels has got five now. A little artistry in the painted area converting against the size. Proving once again that when you attack with confidence, good things tend to happen. And still perfect in the second half. Four straight makes. Pass to Dallin Tunis. The dish to Ingram. And he drops in the layup off the glass. He has six. A wiry guy with great body control. Ingram can adjust in the face of good defense. Here's Fox. Takes it inside. That shot, no good. But only the first miss of the second half. They've come out here with authority. Passes to Valanciunas. He dishes it to Ingram. Kicks it to Daniel. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Daniels has got four points in the quarter. And guys, the D has to show a little more fight on the interior than they did on that trip. Anytime Barnes gets that close to the basket, he's looking to throw it down. Pelicans trailed by four. Alvarado with it. Eight points for him. To the middle. Valanciunas, good. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Outside, Fox. Outside, Sabonis. Dishes it to Monk. From deep. And the rebound goes to the Pelicans. Pass to Ingram. Now Valanciunas. And the pass to Alvarado. Valanciunas with a screen on Fox. New Orleans needs to get off a shot. No good from Valanciunas. Sacramento's gotten a success rate of just over 50% from three-point tonight. Four of seven shooting. Monk kicks to Fox. Ripped away. Here's Alvarado. Guarded by Fox. Ingram outside. Back to Alvarado. Shot clock at five. Alan Junis with a screen on Barnes. And it's Alvarado missing. Doesn't register as a block, but he did everything you want defending that shot. You know what he did? He timed it well and did a good job of contesting without committing the foul. New Orleans has gone one of three from downtown since halftime. Bounce pass Ingram. Alvarado, eight points for him. Now, here's Fox. He's covered closely. Monk for three. Good, and it's Fox who picks up the assist. Fox has got his ninth assist in the game now. 
Now a timeout called by New Orleans. In addition to going over the game plan and making whatever necessary adjustments have to be made, Greg, this timeout also the time for players to get rehydrated or hydrate for the first time with some Gatorade. Plenty of basketball still to be played here, and they have to get recharged. That's a great point. Without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a, of a game, and that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have got to be hydrated. in for Barnes. And the Pelicans also making a change. Marshall's checked in. Pelicans trail by five. Here's Alvarado. He's got eight. Driving inside. Here's Daniels. Well-timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Daniels has got nine. And that lead pass allowed him to get straight to the rim, unabated, in stride. A screen by Sabonis. Fox finds Sabonis. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. The aggression from Sabonis, forcing the issue and getting the hoop. Let's take a moment here to get your guys' take on scoring so far for the Kings. I think they've looked to dump it down low as often as possible. And so far, they've been super successful using this attack. And their passing has been great as well. Ball movement is key in getting good looks, and they've had that down tonight. Pelicans trail by six. Pass to Daniel. Sabonis against Valanciunas. Tries again. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. That one on Monk. Jonas Valanciunas is a skilled big man with strong fundamentals. This is his first free throw of the game. And with a percentage of, of 82, he's been one of their more dependable shooters from the line. The first one falls. Junis hits them both. He's living there tonight. A tough guy to guard without fouling. And the bonus, he's going to knock him down. Now here's Herder. He's covered by Daniels. On its way for Monk for two. Makes no mistake on the open jump shot. Monk's got nine points. Really well done there. Just confident and composed. Never in a hurry. Passes it to Valanciunas. Here is Daniels. He's defended by Herter. Daniels passes to Valanciunas. Down to five on the shot clock. Back to Daniels. Nance with no one around. And again, no good by New Orleans. And hard work on the glass. Once again, guys, they put a lot of effort and focus on the backboard. 
This is the shot you want right at the rim. He just couldn't deliver. Pass to Alvarado. To the paint. Here's Valanciunas. And the layup is good. Valanciunas has got 20 points. That wasn't an easy finish from Valanciunas. The big man didn't have a good look, but got it to drop anyway. Now here's Herter. Guarded closely. It's a bonus against Valanciunas. Mitchell outside. Fires from deep. Rebounded by Valanciunas. Valanciunas has got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. Marshall passes to Alvarado. The pass to Valanciunas. Daniels with it. Valanciunas with a screen on Monk. Daniels kicks to Marshall. And he's good on the three ball. Marshall. Now just a one point Kings lead. The defense decides to gamble off him and he cashes in. Now a timeout called by Sacramento. Checked in for Sacramento. The Pelicans also changing it up. Cody Zeller's checked in for Jonas Valanciunas. Ingram comes in for Daniel. And Lewis subbed in for Jose Alvarado. And it's the Kings with the ball. They lead by one. Pass to Herter. And there's the slam dunk to finish it off. And he shows us all what the breakaway rim was invented for. Can you believe he almost brought the whole thing down by hanging on that long? Now here's Ingram. He has six. There's 47 seconds left for the third. That ties it up. Nance has got nine points. Defensively, you have to tight up on him or suffer the consequences. Passes it to Herter from deep three-point land. Good, and the assist goes to Mitchell. Mitchell's got three assists tonight. You need a three to answer back. Herter's a good guy to dial up. Lewis passes to Zeller. On the wing, Nance. New Orleans moving the ball around. Lewis misses. Kings leading now by three. Got to run the clock and wait for the last shot. Yes, you do, but it's a dilemma. If you get a great look earlier in the clock, do you take it? And that's rocking the rim. Give him the two points and tack on some for style. Oh, he deserves them. He deserves all the points he can get there. Sensation. Brandon Ingram. And as we conclude the third quarter, what a game. Neither team giving ground. It's Sacramento up three. Live from Golden One Center. You're watching 2K Sports.
And let's take this opportunity now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. Just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? Execution. This is what you practice every day. These guys are professionals. Beautiful play. And with three quarters behind us, we start the fourth quarter in what is still anybody's ball game. We've got McGee. Mitchell is out there with De'Aaron Fox. Then it's Kevin Herter. And it's Duarte in at the four slot. So that's the five in the game for Sacramento. Trying to finish out the game strong. You have to recognize who has the hot hand and get him the ball. Marshall dishes to Ingram. Shot's good. Marshall making the play. Marshall's got four assists now tonight. I like the attack mindset. Ingram not content to stand out on the perimeter. Now here is McGee. He kicks to Fox. Fires the three. Mans with the rebound. And Ingram has got the ball here for New Orleans. Here. First person Ties it up, and this next one could give them the lead. They now lead as the free throw drops for him. Here's Fox. Pass to Herter. Back to Fox. We're just over a minute into this final quarter of play. McGee. No good on that one. The Pelican shooting has just been outstanding tonight. 56% as a team in this game. Here's the pass to Ingram. Zeller setting the pick for Ingram. Shot by Zeller, no good. For Sacramento, they've gone 0-3 to start the fourth quarter. Inside, played in with a nice touch off the glass. And the Kings lead by one. Boy, right down to the wire here. Still anyone's ball game. Yeah, and after all the energy both sides have expended, both teams still hungry for the win. Now, here's Marshall. Fader on the way, and the Pelicans miss again. The defense was begging him to take that shot, and he took the bait, but you can't blame him. And he lobs it up toward the rim, and it's McGee with the jam. And how about the incredible timing on that alley -oop? He absolutely hammered it down. Pass to Zeller. They double him with Mitchell. Fox with the steal. Mitchell feeling it out a bit. Outside, Fox. McGee is screen on Lewis. Back from outside. Hands it from downtown. And now a six-point Kings lead. You get the sense Fox just improving with each game in terms of his pick-and-roll play. Figuring out his angles, knowing when to pull and when to try to split or turn the corner. Now here's Zeller. Just five to shoot. Kicks to Marshall. And they get it. Torche grabs the board. Sacramento leading by six. The dish to Fox. Herder passes to Fox. Passes it to Torche. Good and a nice assist from Fox. Fox has got assist number 11 for him here tonight. Yeah, there's six points on consecutive three balls. They're finding holes now in the deep. Now here's Zeller. And the foul on Chris Duarte. That is his first foul of the game. And the Kings making a change here. 
Monk's checked in, and New Orleans also making a change. Trey Murphy's checked in for Cody Zell. And we're about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter. Hands a screen on Fox. Here's Lewis. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. It's on JaVale McGee. Nice work to get it inside and draw the contact. Smitty, here we are. Between your TV, your smartphone, your tablet, you can watch any NBA game anytime you want to. Kevin, it's awesome. The ability to watch multiple games at once is really great for fans. And hey, we're all fans first and foremost. And he can't get the first one. Chris Duarte is checked in for Mitchell. The Pelicans also changing it up. Jonas Valanciunas is checked in for Nance. And Dyson Daniels subbed in for Najee Marshall. He hits the second from the line. Yeah, I like that they haven't lost their aggressiveness here in the second, despite being down. Lewis against Fox. No one near Herder as he lets it fly. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. Ingram against Monk. And it's Ingram missing. And the shots just continue to say no in terms of falling. Some nice ball move here by the Kings. Back to Herder. Monk against Ingram. Down to five on the shot clock. And Malik Monk hits from deep. Monk's got the lead up to 11 now for Sacramento. And Monk has proven that he is a terrific scorer from the perimeter. When he's in rhythm, he has no problem letting it fly. Pass to Daniels. Let's it fly. That one rolling around and rims out. Missed opportunity. It's a makeable shot for him. He just can't get it to go. First yeah, the defender team. all over. First team time. Shooting for Sacramento. Chris Duarte. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. Sabonis, he's checked in for the Kings. Keegan Murray comes in for Kevin Herter. Jose Alvarado, he's checked in for New Orleans. Both good from the line that time. And here is Ingram. Well, Greg, they're looking to make some big stops here to halt this rally. And luckily, time is on their side, but this is on them. They, they need to play smart here. Valanchunas, and it's Valanchunas finishing it off. Valanchunas getting rewarded there for putting down a solid screen on the pick and roll. High time, Fox. Jose Alvarado, third personal foul. Second team foul. Shooting for Sacramento. De'Aaron Fox. Two shots. First one falls for him. Harrison Barnes, he's checked in for the Kings. That one is no good. 
Pelicans trail by 12. And there's the pass to Alvarado. Back to Ingram. Shot clock at five. Shot from the top of the key. And the basket by Alvarado. If you came to watch a scoring battle, you're in the right place. Yeah, both teams trying to close out strong. These are the fireworks that fans came to see. Fox finds the ball. And you just have to have an appreciation how under control Fox plays. You know, right watching them work the ball through the D in that pick and roll. Ingram outside. Pass to Dallin Tunis. Danny battles for the ball and gets the second chance bucket. Alan Junis has got 10 points in just the second half. Right side, Fox. That bucket in in no time at all. And the Kings lead by 12. Down the stretch, this is when they need him the most, and he is delivering. Alan Junis with a screen on Barnes. Alan Junis inside. Defended by Sabonis. Man, he keeps doing his part. They just haven't been able to get over the hump. Fox passes to Monk. Back to Fox. Fox is double. The kick out to Barnes. And another three for Sacramento. And certainly, they are not hesitating. Letting it fly from deep here in the second half. Now a timeout, timeout called by New Orleans. Yeah, just looking to tighten up their defense in the paint. They've got to be better. It's a matter of want to. Helping out contesting shots. You have to want to make the effort. Turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Guys, I was able to catch the message Willie Green gave to his team. Now he wants them to stay focused on teamwork out there. He said, let's keep communicating. Keep talking. We've got to help each other out there. Coach thinks that team effort is what's needed here. Guys. Thank you, David. Here's Alvarado. New Orleans moving it around. Ingram against Barnes. Valanciunas with a screen on Barnes. Ingram passes to Valanciunas. Just four to shoot. Out that one, and the Kings lead has been cut down now to just ten points with that basket from Ingram. Becoming consistent from beyond the arc, it's completely changed how you have to defend Ingram. Now, here's Fox. Sabonis sets the pick for Fox. Shoots over Alvarado. There's Sabonis. And Valanciunas pulls it down. Valanciunas has got the glass covered here tonight. 11 boards for him. 
Ingram against Barnes. Alan Judas with a screen on Barnes. Here's Ingram, and it's New Orleans scoring again. This is what you do when your opponents try to take away the three and the painted area. Outside, Fox. Sabonis sets the pick for Fox. No good with the triple. You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. Barnes against Ingram. And stolen by Murray. Now, here's Fox. He's guarded closely. 109 left to play here in the fourth. Fox is double. Passes to Sabonis. And here's Barnes for three. Pelicans pull it in. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Alvarado passes to Ingram. Off target with his three. And I think that one could have easily have fallen for him. At the top of the key, he's Sabonis. We've got 33 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Barnes finds Monk. Good, and it's Barnes picking up the assist. And you know they feel good giving their fans a show here while taking care of business. They're going to win by a nice margin. The effort was there all night. And that one, good. Good defense against Brandon Ingram, but he's crafty about creating just enough space for his shot. Outside, Fox. So it's Sacramento picking up the win, even early on in this one. It seemed like they were happy to be playing at home tonight. And it makes a big difference. Once they started to really play in rhythm, you never felt like they had any doubts as to whether or not they were going to win. And that'll do it, folks. For Steve Smith, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for tuning in. Now, let's check out our New Balance player of the game, De'Aaron Fox.